you too. What they do, fade my cellos. You see it. I told you, stick with me. We're gonna get better. <laughs> Master Lokes here. Hey, I know you like that scene. I just had to let y'all know, let y'all see a little difference. You know what I mean? Time to take it to the next level. Today, I got a good video in store for y'all. I dropped my corded Andes earlier this week, man. And if you can see with these blades, let me, let me go ahead and look at what my blade's doing. Look at that. You see that? My blades, man. It, they acting up. They acting up on me. I dropped them. So today, I'm going to be showing y'all what to do when you mess up your handy blades. When you got your blades looking like this, something ain't right. So y'all stick in tune with me. That's what we're going to be doing today. Let me know what y'all think, too, on the quality. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm really enjoying this YouTube journey. I ain't gonna lie, like, every day it'd be like, okay, what can I learn new? What can I do better? So now we gonna try to get better. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Hey, stick with me, favorite out a little series. I ain't even gonna be hitting this lens, cause this lens is next level. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just, like that, you know what I'm saying? Next scene. Mate, I ain't playing around like that. But let's go ahead and get to it. Fade my cellos. Boom. So when your blades looking like that, something done went wrong. And like I told y'all, I dropped these. I dropped them. So how to reset your master blades. That's what y'all about to get right now. And these the quarter joints. Don't sleep on these. These are the OGs. Matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all another video next. On the two OGs that every barber need to have. And this is one of them. I'm going to let y'all know about the other one. But this is, if you ain't got these, or you don't know how to use these, come on, man. Got to know how to use these. But let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So first, you're going to need a screwdriver. Boom. You see that? You're going to need a screwdriver. I'm going to start off by taking both of the blades off. Um, so once you take it off, make sure you clean these blades off. Mine look dirty. This lever. This lever is loose. So that's what's causing my blade to overlap because this lever is loose. It's going too far down, not far enough up. So what I want to do is tighten these up, these screws right here up. Open it all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Don't tighten it too much to where you ain't going to be able to move it with your thumb. I have a nice little tight to it to where you still where you still can move it like easily boom once you do that I'm gonna go ahead and drop that blade back on I always like to set it all the way down to as far as it could go and we want to line it up we want to line it up. We want to line it up based on how far down it can go. 
So I always like to start with having one screw kind of already in. So what you want to make sure is that you got a zero gap because that's going to help you get that ball line out once you have a zero gap. So you want to have it as close as possible, making sure that there's no overlapping at all on your blade. Once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. check it when I say check it you want to make sure that it's tight so see how it's a little overlap right there so I'm gonna unloosen the right side just a little bit just to budget up a tad bit more I'm out to loosen the left just a tad just to get it to budge all the way So once you zero gap them, you should get something very, very similar to this. Very similar to this. And that's pretty much how you do it. All the way down, all the way in. Let's see where we at with it. Right there with it. Right there with it. So really it's only two, three things. If you want to uh, readjust your blades back, make sure your lever is tight enough to where you got a little bit of loosage to it because nobody be sitting there really looking at where they at on the lever. You know what I mean? They just got a feel for it. Like, you should know we're halfway at, we're open at, we're halfway at, we're closed at. Like, without even really looking. Um, so you tighten them two those four screws for the lever, not too tight to where you can't move it with your thumb. Once you do that, you want to push it all the way in like you zero gap and then line them blades up. Don't get it too, too close. Just have a little, like a smidge of room. You have a smidge of room, you're gonna be good. Now let's jump to this other scene. And there you have it. What I want y'all to do is, first of all, click that like, that comment, and also subscribe. Not only that, I got some real good videos coming in store for y'all. Like some real good videos. I'm gonna give y'all a hint on one of them. It might not be the next one you see, but I'm gonna give you a hint. Gammas. <laughs> Only barbers and people that's really in tune with the Clipper world probably know what I'm talking about. Also, I got another good one that's coming for y'all as well. I want to give y'all one of them OG throwback Clipper that everybody should have in their arsenal. You know what I mean? Be on the lookout that for that video next. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Let me say it again. Go ahead and click that like. Leave a positive comment. Let's let's help this community grow. Let's become great. Let's become an empowering community. It's a barber lifestyle, a barber where I'm gonna get out of the insights. I'm gonna show y'all what it takes to become a barber. I'm gonna show you some fading techniques. I'm gonna show you some scissor techniques. I'm gonna show you some razor techniques. I'm gonna put y'all on the game. It's Fade Master Los here, live and direct. Hey, I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's.